guy shooting a dandy little rifle. This is from a Henry repeating arm called the U.S. Survival Rifle. This thing's been around for years. Uh, various companies have made it, starting with Armalite, uh, Charter Arms. <clears throat> they make some for a while. But since 97, Henry repeating arms have been making this little gun, and they improved it. They made some changes to the stock, uh, made it a, a better stock instead of just... Uh, a regular thin plastic, it's ABS, and by the way, the stock does float and all, but anyway, uh, this was invented back in 1959, same year I was invented, but this is held up better than I have, it's a good little design, and uh, it's a 22 long rifle, and it's uh, invented as a survival rifle, uh, Eugene Stoner of AR-15 M4 fame, invented it, uh, and the idea was it could be strapped to the ejector seat of a, a Air Force pilot's seat or whatever when he ejected he'd have a rifle with him <clears throat> u.s never did adopt it but a couple of other countries did but the good thing about the little rifle it only weighs three pounds five ounces on my scale with an empty magazine we've got these steel eight shot magazines that come with two of them by the way i've got three here because the reason i have three is uh you can store you store it with three in the buck stop and the thing how it stores in there you can take the barrel off by loosening this nut Pull the barrel off. Right under here is a knob to remove the receiver from the buttstock. Which none of this requires any tool, just your fingers. Get that receiver removed, and then it all fits on this buttstock. Receiver goes down here, and the receiver will store well with a magazine in place. And pop the mag in. No way it can go off or anything because you don't have a chamber here. No chamber. You can drop that in. Drop your barrel in. And put the extra magazines loaded up in here. Cartridges pointing up. And go in here and then you can cap it off if you get your beard out of the way. Cap it off and this whole thing will float. If you drop this out of a boat or whatever in the water, it'll float. If you drop it in the water with the receiver and barrel in it, it'll float like this with the barrel down. So it'll still float, or you can grab it, retrieve it back. But the idea was that when they invented this, it would, could be strapped to a, a pilot seat or whatever, and he'd have something with him. But other than that, you know, if you're not a pilot or anything like that, it's still a dandy little survival rifle to have around. Good little plinker. Surprisingly accurate. Um, I got some real good accuracy out of this thing, more than I thought it would, and uh, the peep sights on here, well, while I've got this out, I'll show you. It's reversible here, you got a small hole and a large hole. If you'll notice this large hole, I bored it out, because both holes are too small for my eyes. I run an eighth inch drill bit through there, gives a good ghost ring sight picture, and it works a lot better for me than does a regular small aperture peep sight. And it goes back together real easily. And uh, the gun, like I said, has been made by various companies. Henry's had it, and they made the improvements to it that makes it really a better stock. They also, this barrel, the receiver, has an ABS coating on it, as does the barrel. And what that does for you, that gives it a good durable finish. It's not going to rust. It's a steel barrel, aluminum receiver, but this uh, ABS coating or sheath on here to keep a... Uh, keep it from rusting and carrying on like that. It's uh, grooved here on top for 3 8 tip-off mounts. For my accuracy testing, to see just how accurate this was, I used this Burris 18-power uh, scope on top of here so I could tell you know how good the gun does without the uh, limitation of my eyesight. Anyway, we'll shoot a little bit, show you a little bit more about it. Well, it also, one thing from Henry, that I really like. It kind of goes with this. It don't come with it, but they sell this survival kit. It's an aluminum box. You can see how small it is. It's handy, pretty light, but it's got all kind of stuff in there. We'll have a list on here of what's in that box, but that's a handy little accessory for it. You can also buy the extra magazines uh, from Henry, but we'll shoot a little bit and show you how it works. Now, one thing about it, it needs high velocity ammo to work reliably, because uh, it's made for high velocity ammo, and that's what you're going to want anyway. The only, uh, time you might not want high velocity ammo if you want something like a cci quiet ammo 
I got somewhere in here somewhere that uh, doesn't make much noise if you're out in the woods and you got to be as quiet as you can. You can use that in here, working it like a straight pull bolt. It's, they don't have enough power to cycle it, but all the good high velocity stuff cycles it great. This Remington Golden Ammo, I've been shooting a lot of it in there, and I'm down to my last box of this. I used to have thousands of it, but hadn't bought any and hadn't seen any for sale in a long time. But down to my last box on that, that works really well in here. Any of the bulk high velocity hollow points work perfectly. Uh, the, the good stuff that comes in the plastic boxes that's not the low velocity target stuff, it worked perfectly. All your high velocity uh, hollow point and solid nose ammo work great in there. Even the truncated cone stuff had a bunch of that round stuff. It worked good in here. Uh, everything's worked well. It's been been accurate. Some groups are uh, uh, well under an inch at 50 yards. Some things opened up about two just depending on the ammunition. But it's a good, accurate, reliable little rifle. It's a good plinker. It's a good kids rifle. Now, this one I bought uh, from my grandson about a year ago and uh, this is his rifle this camo finish uh, MSRP on this camo finish $350 it sells usually for down around 300 bucks uh, on the black finish MSRP $290 and it sells for around 250 or so maybe 260 and I like this thing so much that just about a month ago I ordered me in eight of those black ones I just got them in there they're, they're handy to keep in the in the RVs and the pickup trucks Anywhere you're going to need a rifle that don't take up much room, put in a backpack if you're going hiking or something. I don't do a lot of hiking. I ride whenever I can. But I like them in the, in the, in all, anywhere I won't go, I want to have one in there because uh, you need a, a rifle handy. It's got a, the trigger pull on it. Let me get this mag out of here. Trigger pull on it is a little stiff, but it's made purposeful that way because it's a survival rifle. You may be out, your hand's almost froze, whatever. Got about a six pound pull. Uh, but it's a nice crisp pull, so it's a, a serviceable pull. It's not something you want to uh, use on the line at Camp Perry, but it works. It's a good trigger, works really well. The safety is straight. Let me get this forward and back, forward to fire, back safe, forward to fire, back safe. Easy to work with your thumb. The little to work the bolt. This six flush the the actuating knob here. You pull it out, then it makes it easy to work that bolt. Push it in when you're done with it for storage or whatever won't be in the way. But it's lightweight, reliable, just a dandy little rifle from uh, Henry Repeating Arms. The rear sight on this rifle is adjustable up and down for elevation. You loosen the screw and uh, slide it up and down for elevation adjustment, no matter which aperture you're using. The front sight, you can adjust for windage because it's in a dovetail. It's an orange glow uh, polymer front sight in here. That, uh, it gives a pretty good sight picture against dark things like in the woods or whatever. Uh, it's a good, good all around sight for that kind of use. But you can adjust them for windage to fine tune your ammo. These magazines, they hold eight shocks each. They're good steel magazines. And with uh, the one in the receiver all stored, you got 24 rounds stored in your rifle in the magazine. So that's handy to have. If you want to find a Henry repeating arm dealer in your area, go to lipsies.com, put in your zip code, and it'll give you a list of Henry dealers in your area. If you want to order this little jewel online, go to galleryofguns.com, click on the Gun Genie, put in your zip code, and it'll give you prices from different dealers in your area where you can go pick this gun up, fill out the paperwork, and get it. You can buy it online, pick it up, pay the government their extortion fee, whatever they get, and pick up your gun and go have fun with it. But you can buy it online there. Uh, anyway, for good ammo, we recommend luckygunner.com, mixhousesuresupply.com. They're both a couple of good outfits. Uh, places are starting to get uh, rimfire ammo in stock now, thankfully, so so it's good to go look and see what you can find. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's a, a good little rifle. Like I said, I modified this sight by drilling it out a little bit. It makes me able to see through it better, and I can see more around my target. It's not blocked out. That's something you can do, obviously, if you want to. Still got the little hole if you want to flip it around for some finer precision work. Anyway, it's a good little rifle, 16-inch barrel. When it's taken apart and put in the stock, it's only 16 in and a half inches overall. So it's a nice, compact, lightweight little rifle. We're going to shoot it and have a little fun. Okay, Ben, this is a survival rifle. You know, you can leave it put together. You ain't always going to want to store it in there. But you got all that good space in the buck stuff. And that's a good place to store. Get this cap off here. Store some grub. You can have something like Spam Singles fit down that little slot. Little Snickers bars fit down there where the barrel goes. A lot of good storage space for some good eats. If you're out in the woods and you... You miss that squirrel or can't shoot that rabbit or whatever with the little rifle. You got something to eat so you don't got to worry about cooking. So anyway, it's a good little survival rifle from Henry Repeating Arms.
You know, these rifles, it's not ideal for defense, but in, even defense against humans and things, you could use this little survival rifle. You know, you start making holes in somebody, they're going to leave you alone. We'll try it out on our, on our old buddy here. You give them eight shots real quick, some good 22 long rifle. I'm still chewing on that Snickers bar. It'll, uh, you know, you can deter somebody. Now, a huge bear or something, I wouldn't recommend it, but any other predators, coyotes, things like that, that's what this gun's made for. That and squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, things for the pot. But you can also use it, as I just demonstrated, to fence against somebody. You know, we used to, when we was killing hogs all the time, we'd kill them one shot to 22 right in the head. It would kill them every time. They'd drop right where they was and wouldn't be no trouble. So it's not ideal for something like that, but if you, uh, if all you got is a good 22 long rifle like this, don't feel like you're unarmed against attackers. It'll do the job. You're empty, mister. That sight works great grilled out like that. Really gives a good sight picture. As I mentioned earlier, this uh, you can use that CCI quiet ammo on here. If you got something you need to be a little quieter than high velocity stuff, it won't cycle the action, but it still works. You can work it just like a little bolt action.